Hello, and welcome to one of my all-time favorite games on the planet. This is Cubivore Survival of the Fittest. So, if I can give you a general rundown of this game, you are a little mammal called a cubivore. And basically, you eat other cubivores. And that's how you survive. You eat meat and you mutate to become the strongest cubivore on the planet. And this game is absolutely absurd. <laughs> it is absolutely absurd. It's a, I would call it an obscure indie game for the GameCube way back, way back when. I used to rent this game out of a video rental store and play it with my sister for decades on end, it felt like, but the age of video rental was, one, albeit wonderful, it did not last very long. So whenever the video rental store shut down, the game was lost, and this is now the only way to play it unless you have about 200 or 300 dollars to spend on eBay. This game came out in 2002 by the now defunct Sarah or Saru Brunei um, video game company. Long story about that. But all in all, this is one of my all time favorite games, and I'm so excited to play it. So why don't we get into it? And before anyone asks, yes, Nintendo, I'm playing this legally. So. Let's start a new game. Begin a new game, yes. What shall we name our cubivore? I think... Let's call our guy... We'll call him Zanny. Yes. That's his name. He will be named Zanny. And this is us. Primal Mighty Might Piggy Zanny. I feel so nice, so warm. I remember in great detail a past I neither saw nor heard. Once upon a time, the world was full of wilderness and dazzling, colorful beasts thundered across its untamed plains. The designs are so kooky. I. I, this just screams 2002. Until one day, the colorless beasts arrived and began to devour the wilderness. Soon, the land was no longer wild. I love these guys, too. The colorless ones kept the wild in their ashen bodies. Until it, until it formed raw meat, giving them great power. Among them was a beast that boasted six pieces of raw meat. This beast, known as Killer Cubivore, became king of the entire world and set out to consume all of its wilderness. I too boast a lot of meat. If nothing is done, the wilderness will disappear and the world will wither and fade. And we're gonna save it. I want to live. That was the first thought I ever had. I want to be alive. And so we shall. Paw Dunes. Where every bit of life begins. And there we are. The mighty piggy. Ah, I am born. I am alive. I'm Piggy Zanny. <laughs> I come into this world a beast, and as a beast, I shall eat and eat and become king of all cubivores. And that's where we begin. Where is our mother? I will never know. And this is how you walk around. <laughs> you flop around like the useless little pig you are. And there's like a jump button. I'm using X and Z because I, those are real GameCube controller buttons. Because I'm playing this on a GameCube for legal reasons. Snack grass. I found some snack grass. It's got a delicious tint to it. I feel like I have more energy now. Well, good. We should because we live to eat, and now our health is full. 
Is that a bug? Wanna eat, wanna eat, wanna eat, wanna eat, wanna eat. Usually pigs eat like garbage. Okay. There we go. I got it. We just targeted and ate a bug. Oh lord, these camera angles are sickening. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you can walk up into like this tall grass looking stuff and some other like bugs or cubivores will hide in it and they'll jump out. But that's like out in the more wider open areas. Yes. Ooh, that was a long leap. God, this game is weirder than I remember. Mighty Might, no color. But your color is dictated by the meat you eat as well. This game is perfect for people who love to eat meat. And believe it or not, I too am a partaker of meat. I, I like to put a little meat on the side of every meal, which includes meat, meat, and also meat. When I'm not eating meat, I'm eating meat. Training grounds. It's a wooden horse. Beef up my body and my attack level. This is essentially like you, your skills get tougher with this. And there's other, there's all kinds of different ways to do it too. Hold down L to lock on and then press A while holding L. It's so cute watching your cubivore level up because they'll grow like little appendages and stuff. This training turf is toast. You essentially knock off the head of this wooden horse and that's that on that. And then you're on to the next level. Or the next part of the level, I should say. And like, these are like little health points. A love bit. Tastes like love to me. No! This isn't love bit. This, um, this allows you to breed and get stronger later on. I remember now. With, yep, uh -huh, collect a hundred love bits and the females will just adore me. This game is insane. A lot crazier than I remember it being. Oh, you can also, I forgot, you can like, the, like there's like a block, like a hesitation. Okay, I can't remember what this is. I th oh, yes I do! This is a portal for later. No spoilers. There's another training grounds. Toadstools! I should practice my hunting skills. Yes, you should. Because we are Babby, and Babbies can't hunt. Babbies don't even have teeth to chew. Now, oh, oh, okay. Oh. What? There we go. Yes. Because it's safe to eat wood all the time, as a pi especially as a pig, like unrealistic, ruining my immersion. There we go. Tongue points. Listen, if you talk to some of my exes, you'll know that I've got lots of tongue points. Wink, wink. We're up to 11 love points now. The females are laughing at us from a distance. Our love points are so low. We are be or a beta male. We don't have no bitches. Uh-oh. It's got some color to its body. Well, what's wrong with that? Color meat? This is where you change colors as well as shape. This color beast is a tire jack. Now, this is introduction to our very first kill. As such. Listen to it whine and scream. We now have yellow color meat or tire jack color meat. Now our little piggy has mutated. Did I get any stronger? And they all have different like attacks or different like base stats and stuff. It's also kind of like the more you mutate there's like a directory where you can see all your mutations. And you can unlock all kinds of crazy stuff. 
And now we drag our little shitty pig body along the grass. We just drag our ass on the ground like a dog with a crusty butthole on carpet. Whoa! A different color this time. And a different shape as well. Let's fucking kill it! <laughs> oh, it's gonna try to attack us first. Oh, wait, what button? There we go. No, come back here. Yeah. We can't allow it to get away. So we really gotta act now. I changed into red. I mutated. I ate some color meat. I feel a bit more buff. So, there's, uh, like, you see Hanky and Pale. That pale will also change depending on the color because there are some deeper varieties, there's metallic varieties, all kinds of stuff. But you gotta be like an apex predator to get some of them, and I never got very far in the game considering I was like five and six when I played it. Ow! Why'd I. No, that doesn't hurt, it's. Don't fucking hiss at me, you confused little bitch. See, he's gonna try to hurt us too. It's hunter be hunted. Thought you could get away from me. There we go. I changed into purple. I mutated. I mutated again. My shape changes with each color. We are an eject now. We are pale eject. And now we move ridiculously slow. <laughs> I forgot how to move faster. There was a way that you could get faster, and I can't remember how. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's like a reverse. But you know what? I can deal with it. I can control it. A door. Yep, that's the gateway into another area. It's a doorway to the next land. Well, then let's get the hell out of here. Make like a leaf and get the fuck out. That baby's got some dark color meat. Sure does. It... It must be strong. Well, let's kill it, why don't we? Oh, oh, ow! Jesus Christ. No. Oh, God, can we get away with it? This game is also easily one of the hardest games I've ever played. Because it's really, it's really confusing. I changed back into yellow. My body got some dark meat to it. I feel somewhat stronger. The dark meat is obviously going to be better than the dark, or the pale, but since we're pale dark, we're not 100% dark. Is there anything? Yeah, there's something over here. Oh, I can't get up it anyway. Well, on to the next area then. Look at us swinging our schmeat. I conquered Paw Dunes. I mutated four times. And see, this is the bestiary. Pale dark yellow braid. Purpile or purpule, one limb. Rediped, one limb. There's yellow bait, rediped, or uh, yellow braid, rediped, blue sight. Pur purpule, grayadon. Personally, I love the Grayadons. The Grayadons are my favorite. And then there's the yellow braids over here for pale darks. And then the farther up you go, six limbs as such. And there's other mutations as you go, but that's not till later on in the game. Piggy Zanny, four mutations. I do believe we'll save, thank you. And there's like a monologue or like a poem before each area, I think. Whew! I'm plum tuckered out. What with being born and pigging out, it was a killer schedule for my first day. I'm totally oinked out. Zoinked out? Ah! Zonked out. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't quite mastered the art of language yet. Anywho, glad to be born and all. But to be totally honest, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. 
just vague ideas. But if I close my eyes and search the back of my bacon brain, I can see a world teeming with wilderness. Colorful animals, colorful lands. I want to bring this color back to the world. Eating the color meat makes my body take on many shapes. It's the vitamin D, or perhaps the protein, or maybe the savory taste. Piggy Zanny. See, this game is ridiculous, but it's so cute. Bleach White Highlands. Let's eat the snack grass. I guess get us a little love bite or a love thingy. Um, can we rotate the camera a little bit? Thank you. Oh. Yeah, that looks like a boss area up there. That giant paw print. This is also like a kind of like a puzzle game, like you, or a dungeon crawler. You just seek out these animals in different areas to unlock different parts of the map, and then you defeat a boss. Cheapers, this is as white as snow. This is a world without wilderness. I cannot enter the white terrain. So you, it's like a barrier until you, <clears throat> a barrier until you get everything unlocked. That's a wildebug, a wildebug. It's got the mark of wilderness on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat that son of a bitch. Yeah, you eat the wildebugs or the wilder bugs, and then parts of the area unlocks. Eating wildebugs will bring wilderness back to barren land. Is there are there any other like animals up here that I'm missing out on? Well, they'd be highlighted red. We don't want to miss out on these love bites. Or love bits. I can't remember what they're called. A rejuvenator. Eat it on an empty stomach and it become full again. So that's if I can put it um if I can put it in layman's terms, it's kind of like, it's similar to a health potion, or a totem of undying in Minecraft, that kind of thing, but you have to pause and use it, and it, if you're like, dying or low on health, it will ref it will fill, or fill your stomach completely. I gained, I gained some horn points. Get enough, my attack level will increase. Those horn levels and stuff, you'll get like, tongue levels, fang levels, horn levels, stuff like that. Um, if you aren't around any training areas like this, then you can just gather up those points and it'll level up for you. A grass box. Hold down L and press A to pounce. What is this? I don't remember this. Seed of Fright. Press Y to frighten the fur off of other beasts. Plus, you can adjust the camera angle. I know how to do that. Want to see your surroundings? Change the view with the C-Stick, which I absolutely do have and use. That's what I've been using. Looks like I need one more Wildabug. Wildabug. I'm about to just keep saying Wildabug because it makes more sense. Wilderness has returned to the land I can enter now. Yeehaw! Saddle up. I also resonated with the yeehaw and the saddle up and all the country... The big country shtick throughout the game. Let's see. Are there any other? Yeah. We want as many of those as possible. We want to get some bitches. We need some hoes and bitches. This one's got two pieces of meat on it. A two-limb beast. Looks a bit tougher than a one-limb. Well, probably because it's got two limbs. That's why. We're going to kill it anyway. That's what we're going to do. Cause we're the al we're the alpha male. We can't let these beta cucks get in our way. Oh, damn it! Yes. So what happens when we eat a two limb beast? Oh, we just take a, a piece. I mutated. We're called a guitar now, and <laughs> that's how we move around. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. That looks ridiculous. Are there any other love whatevers? 
Yes. Give me all the love. Give me your loving. All I wanna do is make love to you. Yeah. So now we've eaten all the Wildebugs, we can progress to the next area. But not through that gate, because you have to defeat the boss to get to that gate. Either that, or you have to get a little bit more meat. No, there's the boss. That's the Cub Scout Beast. And he's got a piece of raw meat. You best be giving me that meat, baby. Mm-mm, get up here. Oh, that's a Graydon! I got some, I got some Graydon meat. See, this is what's gonna suck, because the the bosses are like extraordinarily hard. The Gradons also sound very cute. I'm mutated, so now I'm a buzz cut. The names of these are nonsensical, but in the same way, they make a lot of sense. And we're just gonna go ahead and eat this guy. There we go. Reinforce that stomach. And now we can attack. Now we can get up here and attack this. Oh, shit. We really gotta take this dude out. Yeah. Get over here. Get over here, bitch. Give me that raw meat. Yes. Got the raw paw. Give me some of that raw paw. Cub Scout Beast defeated. The rankings for the bosses are also really weird, if I remember right. This is the weirdest part. The flaps of meat that you have inherit those, like, raw parts. Now that I've got raw meat, I can mate. I can mate. I've obtained raw paw. With the raw paw's power, I can dash using R. That's what I was hoping for. Now I don't have to back up crazy fast and look like a crackhead. The door is all colorful now. I've put the wild back in the wilderness. Come on, let's check out the next area. I don't recall the first boss being... Like, oh. Okay. Listen. <laughs> there is... A literal shit function. And that's how you remove color from your meat. You can literally shit out your color and absorb new ones if you want to keep that mutation, but want a different color. That's what I just did. And that's what he was complaining about. I had totally forgot that that was a thing. I know I just watched the intro, but I, I, I totally forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Oops. I never used it, but... Okay, so we've got the first row of the pale limbs. So that's good. Piggy Zanny, six mutations. Now it's on to bigger and much better things. That raw paw. Man! Caviar of the wild, I tell you. It's hard to keep the old mandibles from just dropping open. Just one bite of this stuff, and my belly starts a dancing. I get this incredible urge to go find some females. Does this meat make you horny, baby? And to belly dance with them? <laughs> well, that's one way to put it. Now that I've got a raw paw, I can sprint like a racehorse. Woo! Go tear that pussy up. By the way, I passed wind of good information. Passed wind? Caught wind? Anyway, I got a fat tip. Just to, just to, just to let you know, little piggy, you get it from me. Word on the street is, in the next level, I can meet a female or something like that. Just thinking about it gives me butterflies in my stomach. Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? No, Piggy Zanny, you're horny on main. Tisk tisk. Although my poor little tummy wants to eat something yummy, it's tied up in knots because I've got the hots. 
with a female, I want to get chummy. Ooh. This game is so corny. And it's only appropriately named Frog Bog. The mating grounds. Once I've got some raw meat, I can mate with females. Well, you better be go getting some of that raw meat. After I mate, my kids will have a new limb. The more mutations I undergo, the more the chicks dig me. Va va voom. <laughs> Well, how many love bites do we have? We have 30. So is there a way to obtain more before we go and do that? Or do we have to mate and then the area opens up? It doesn't look like there's another boss here unless I'm missing something. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's more love bits here. A rare species. Oh, I don't remember this. Well, we're going we're going to fuck it up anyway. Yeah. Yes. All okay, right. This one's pale dark. I changed into red. I mutated. I changed into a rediped. Whoa, I have mad hops. It's called a squirt gun. That's very appropriate, in my opinion, for a pig that's getting ready to mate. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's a guitar. We don't need a guitar right now. Maybe once we mate, I'll eat you. And then I'll have... I, all I almost forgot to mention, you can, like, mix-match your colors and stuff, and you get different abilities based on what you have. And some of them will even, like, give you more limbs. Mating grounds. Let's fuck on these hoes. Woof. King of seven cubivores. Damn, these bitches is fine. Woo. You know what? That's three more than what I had. And I get to pick... My child. I get to pick what my child looks like. Alright, bitches. Come get some of this raw meat. Beat that thing up. I made it with three females. Piggy Zanny truly does take after his controller. So two out of three of them gave birth. And you can easy mutate into the shape at any time. But you must choose carefully. So I can be the two limb red uh, rediped pennant, or I can be a yellow bright pedal. Personally, every time this happens and I'm given the uh, option to be a uh, pedal, um, I take I take it. Personally, I don't see a use for the hopping mechanism all that much or the higher jumps, but I do see prominent like I I, I see like a difference between the two. Considering yellow is, I think, faster. I think yellow is, fa yep, yellow is faster. Piggy Zanny the second has been born. I'm a two limb beast now. That's exactly what I want. Oh no, they can pounce from far away. I don't know if that has to do with being a yellow bright or if that has to do with m multiple limbs. Lock on to distant enemies with L and the pounds from far away. Well, at least we have better range. We're absolutely gonna save. And this is the beginning of two-limbed Piggy Zanny. Oh no, it got rid- Oh shit. It got rid of our- I should have mix-matched. I see what that was for now. Because now it's gone. But this guy's not. Oh, there's a block mechanism. There we go. We are a lot stronger, and we're a lot hungrier, too. And now we got some blue to our body. I should have kept that rediped alive. And I regret not keeping it alive, because we needed it, turns out. I can only mate once you- Yes, I'm not trying to get back in. I've already had my fill of pussy for the day. Come 
Come on. Yeah. Do you like them pouncing skills? Yeah. I'd be on it. I bet there are many colorful beasts. Collect lots of one color and mutate. You can mix match, but it, truth is the best way to mutate is to be all all of one color. So if I wanted to mutate into a two limb um, blue site, I need another blue site. A dip in the oasis does a body good. There is a boss here. We're not gonna fool with it for right now. I just want horn points and stuff. Herba beast. Eating it won't change my color. No, but it, um... I don't really need it right now. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm actually gonna save it for the boss because it actually heals you. So let's take a look around and see what all... There's a blue site. Yeah. Yeah. And that blue aside is going to come over here and eat me up. I have blue. Well, I can't see my mutation. Oh, there it is. I turn into a blue aside. I can pounce from afar. Yeah, I know you can bounce from afar. Or pounce from afar because that's what we did as a... Was it a yellow pail? I'm going to go ahead and knock you out just because I feel like, I don't know, it's not satisfying enough to me if I don't kill all of the animals in the area. But I have to do so accordingly, like in order so that I can get all the mutations. Alright, let's see. Where are you? Okay, that's one. I need four more. Well, I'm not going to eat all of them all at once because I want more I want more bodies I want more colors there's some yellow yes that's exactly what I like ow that hurt give me a love bit give me all your loving they're very like strong very defensive ow Jesus there we go. Oh, come on now. You can't block forever. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And this one's a pale dark. So it'll be really fun to mutate into this one. See, you'll hear it block with that thing. There's like a little indicator noise it makes when it blocks. I need some snack grass or a herba beast. No, I need to step into the oasis is what I need. The worst part about the oasis, though, is, like, the bosses can also heal in the oasis. So that's annoying. You want to stay away from that if you're if they're right on you. I turn into a yellow braid. I'm not only cute, but sharp on defense. Ten mutations. Man, we're a freaking pussy magnet now. Alright, three more Wildebugs. Before we do that, though, I probably should have saved Yellow Break for last, unless there's, an, like, an attack boost on, an, on another, uh, on another beast, because the defense part is very handy when it comes to the boss. I remember this boss being really frustrating. Either that or it was... No, it was an, it's another boss I'm thinking of. My hump points went up. Get enough and my healing level will increase. My hump points are at max. Who are you? Oh! It's a... It's a... Graydon. My fave. I want to be a Graydon now. No, stop it. Yes. Give me your shmeat. So I can be a pimp daddy. I turned into a Grayadon. Use R to dash like lightning. 
I am a mullet now. My boyfriend would hate that. Give me your sweet, sweet purple meat. I can't remember what the, um, the purple two limbs are called. Is purple or something? Purple? Yeah, that's what they are. They're purples. Purples. I don't know what they're called. Oh. Oh yeah, there's like a sleep mechanism and everything. Yes, give me your sweet, sweet purple shmeat. Yes. Your death tastes good. I have mutated. I changed into a purple. Purple. Press X to back up really fast. Which is useless, in my opinion. But beggars can't be choosers. Oh, love bits. We do want that. Oh, there's uh, reds over there. I think there's a training area here, which is great. That's what I need. But it's also nighttime. This sucks with a GameCube controller. Real talk, the joysticks used to give me, like, blisters and stuff when I did this. Keep me rolling around and beef up my body. So, this is what you're supposed to do. You get up in it, and you just flip around. I'm finished here. These usually take a lot longer the bigger you get, I think. Oh, come here. Owie. Come here. No! Yeah! The, the locking on, like the targeting stuff, is really killer. Yes. So now we should have every pale two limb, if I remember right. I mutated. I'm a pale pennant. There we go. I need one more. I don't know where it is, but we're going to figure it out. I think it was over here. Oh no, it's over here actually, which is great. And then hopefully my guy will fall asleep and it'll come in the next day. Wilderness has returned to the land. I can enter now. Yeehaw, saddle up. Alright, time to sleep. Come on, bud. Let's go to sleep. Right now is not the time to be fighting a boss. Can we please pass out? Because I am not... I'm not trying to go get fucked up this close to bedtime. Did I get all the love bits I was out of here? I can't remember. No, but I missed a hump point. I can't go without them hump points. What's a man to do without his hump points? Okay, I think I've gotten everything in this area, if I recall. Unless there's some... There it is! The sleeping mechanism. I'm tired. And he just passes out the grass. I'm a frog, as you can see. But call me the Boy Scout Beast. When I dive in the fen... And leap out again... That is your chance to get me. Piggy Zanny. So, when you fall asleep before, or in an area with a boss like that, it'll tell you how to essentially get it, or, like, tricks on how to get it. Alrighty, let's go at him. Let's go get him. Let's go get our, our raw shmeat. There he is. Great big old boy. It's a dream come true. It's the Boy Scout Beast. And he's got three pieces of meat on him. Not only that, he's a big bugger. <laughs> he's big, my bugger. However, we have run out of time for now. 
So this boss battle will be the very first thing we get into in the next episode. So if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe if you want, ring the dinner bell for notifications about my next upload or the next time I go live. And with that, thank you for watching. It was a pleasure having you, and I will definitely see you next time.